Now we're back to the <clears throat> hot seat. Work Nasi, you're up next. The rules say, uh, still applies to you as everybody else. Seven minutes for you. If, you. if you decide to put a minute out, we can give it back to the judges. So ten minutes in general, three minutes for you, seven for him. All right. Uh, good evening. Uh, before I proceed, I want to ask you something. Do we have entrepreneurs in the house, businesses? Can you raise your hand? Oh, wow. So how many of you uh, own offices? Like you have your office where you're working from. Can I see your hands? All right. And how many of you are working from coffee shops and uh, from homes and you're conducting meetings at a coffee shop? Coffee, shop, uh, coffee shops. Can I see your hands too? All right. So I have an opportunity for you, for both uh, who have offices and who have meeting rooms, and for those who are seeking uh, for offices and meeting rooms. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Edgar Mumpinge. I'm a founder of Wakeness, and allow me to introduce to you Wakeness. So, simply Wakeness is a Airbnb for office and meeting room spaces in Africa. So what we do, uh, before I tell you more what we do, let's see the problem. So here's the problem. You're a startup, you want an office where you can sit and brainstorm and actually planning for your, uh, uh, your business and your, uh, and your startup to grow, but you can't afford an office. In Tanzania, for example, office space is very expensive. Actually, uh, square, one square meter costs uh, from 16 to 20 uh, dollars, and you are required to actually to at least to have 100 uh, square meter. And on top of that, if you get the space, you have to furnish it. And on top of that, the landlord will require you to pay six months or one year in advance. And as, an, as a startup, you can't afford that. Actually, it's too risky because you don't know where you, uh, your startup is going to be uh, in three months, is let alone in one year. So in that problem, there's an opportunity as well. So a lot of uh, office, uh, I mean businesses who own offices have unoccupied spaces in their offices. It could be a single desk, which is there uh, without being in use. It could be a full room or a cubic. And also most of the meeting rooms available in these offices are not uh, frequently in use. Maybe you can use it uh, one day, I mean for one day, or uh, maybe once per day. So, I came up. I think we need to time that. Hello. Hello. Extra Thank 20 you. Seconds. 20 uh, seconds. So, we realize that uh, we can use the, the opportunity said for both entrepreneurs and office owners. So, we created an online platform called wakeness.com. If you have your smartphone, you can log it now to www.wakeness.com. You can see the offices available. And if you are an office owner, you can see where uh, you can post your offices. So, uh, wakeness.com is an online platform which connects. Uh, freelancers and startups and the people who have offices and who want to share their offices. As I said, it's an Airbnb for office spaces in the, uh, and meeting rooms in Africa. So here is our business model. What we do, we don't want the office owners to bother themselves to, uh, to see if they, I mean, their hostee has, I mean, has a paid rent or not. So we take care of everything. And actually, we do background check before allowing someone to come to work from your office. So we take 20% in every transaction, um, uh, rent transaction. And as you said, we manage rent. So uh, that's where we, we make money. Uh, this is our resources needed. We are seeking to raise 300 uh, $1,000 for the next three years, and currently we're seeking at least uh, $50,000 to invest in technology, uh, build a, a good team to execute this, 
because this is a big opportunity in Africa, as so many people are now considering uh, flexible office spaces. And yeah, and we want to uh, strengthen the technology. Uh, our website, uh, we, uh, we believe that it has so many loopholes, so we have to fix them. And we want actually to integrate uh, payment systems, including mobile money payment system, uh, visa cards where uh, we can bring flexibility in, in uh, rent payment because we want people to be paying rent maybe weekly or monthly uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, I mean, to, to make them being able because right now they can't afford to pay in six months in advance when to be flexible enough. So this is our team. I'm Ed Gilman Pinge, founder. Um, I'm a lawyer professionally. But um, we, I have interest in uh, entrepreneurship, and actually I'm 100% uh, entrepreneur. I have uh, founded a company called Speedy Express, which is a courier company. So I, do, I don't practice law actually right now. And we have Umduni, who is a digital market a strategist, and um, he's the one who, who will, uh, I mean, will take us through the digital marketing because we want to rely on digital uh, marketing as our source of uh, marketing. And we have Mayu. Mayu is genius on creativity and also uh, designing and a photographer. So we have also a team of advisors. Uh, Jumaine Mtambalike, uh, CEO of Sahara Specs, one of the advisors, and actually he has helped us so much to bring this platform to life. And also we uh, advised by uh, Edwin Bruno, who is the founder of, uh, and CEO of uh, Smart Codes. And also we have Mariam, who is communication and uh, a communication lead for Boone Innovation Hub. So this is our traction. We, have, we launched the platform like one month ago, but we have so far four offices and two meeting rooms. And we have been sele selected to join uh, Tony Elumel Entrepreneurship uh, Program, which is a program for African entrepreneurs. They select 1,000 entrepreneurs from all of Africa to, gi to give them a grant of $5,000 and, of course, to undergo mentorship program. So our advantage is that we are first in the market. We time's want up, to, uh, I mean, to tap in the market, uh, other markets, because we are frontiers of this. And so, yeah, work us with, with us. And I've, as I said, you can go to our platform right now and see the opportunity Time's and up. follow us on Twitter as well. Thank you. So uh, let me just remind you guys, when we say seven minutes, let it be seven minutes. Because if we keep on exceeding the time, it won't be fair to the other guys as well. And we still have six more to come. So. Six more to come. So thank you, judges. A good, good presentation, good thinking outside the box. Um, but I, I just want to see how you um, derive your revenue, which is 20%. How much money have you made so far? And what do you, what do you have in your portfolio at the moment? All right, thank you. So in one month, yeah, we have rented out yeah, uh, two spaces, uh, which uh, one of them, uh, they pay uh, 200,000 uh, Tanzania shillings per month, and we take 20% uh, out of it every month. And as I said, there's uh, uh, right now two offices. Uh, so if, you, if, if everyone wants an office, you can log out and see if you can rent them out. And we have one meeting room. Actually, uh, so per month right now, we are making uh, for 40,000, I mean, 40,000 Tanzania shillings as a, uh, from, 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 from that office which you, it, it has been rented out. So, as I've said, it's just one month, on, uh, I mean, uh, and we don't have any mar uh, marketing, uh, uh, marketing money to market our platform, so we use just word of mouth and the, uh, uh, the available platform online. So you, d you don't need to say Airbnb for office space uh, in, in Africa because there is a company called WeWork. They just raised $3 billion from SoftBank and they do that. You, know, you don't need to, s and there is WeWork and there is Talent Garden. And so you are in the real estate business, which is great, great idea. 
if you are looking to for funding here, you don't need to demonstrate that the idea is good. The idea is clearly good. It works in many other places around the world, right? You need to convince these guys that uh, there is enough market potential for that because the idea has been proven, right? So that would be point my point number one. And number two is uh, if you're just in a real estate business, you need to show a spreadsheet when you say, okay, where are we going to be in six months from now? It's not enough to say we want $500,000 because we need more people, right? So if you, you need to be a bit more um, articulated uh, in uh, expressing your financials because your business is super clear and is well proven. Thank you for uh, so much for the feedback. We have 20 seconds. All right, so if, if, if I have to talk about WeWork, WeWork actually own the offices. And for us, we don't own offices. The offices are owned by uh, the businesses. So if WeWork come to, uh, uh, to our country, maybe they can partner with us and use our platform. Because uh, uh, what we do, what we do, we let people use the platform for ease management of, um, I mean, of, of, of their spaces. And actually, we are looking to work with uh, co-working spaces as well. So we want to be, uh, we want to be a one, uh, I mean, uh, uh, one, I mean, I mean, I mean, one-stop center for uh, co-working spaces, private um, uh, offices, sharing, uh, to make it easier for startups. Thank you very much, <laughs> Makofi. Round of applause for the man who just gave us a good presentation. Thank you for the pitch.